So we had hardly, hardly any space. Yeah, but we definitely made it work. Yes, we did, because what we did is just use the existing space with minimizing buying unnecessary equipment. And if I had not contacted you, I would have actually done that. Because <laughs> yeah. I would have looked at the store and start, you know, going crazy, buying all the unnecessary stuff, mm. which would have cost me a lot more. With your discussion with you, we came up with an idea of what can we do to use what I already have. And I think, in all honesty, I only had to buy a handful of uh, new equipment. Yeah. So we use our existing fridge, existing blender, existing rice cooker, and so on and so forth. And you, you know, guided us all the way. So yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, no worries, of course. And then from then we started, you know, discussing how we're going to incorporate the bubble tea into our existing menu and uh, benefit from the ingredients which we already carry. We were a little bit short of space, but then again, discussion with you, uh, we came up with a plan and added that. And I think um, it was a good, a good call. Bubble Tea Kristen here, and I'm with one of my clients, Jim Mill, and we're here in London. We're just doing a really fun, informal interview today. There's lots of noise in the background because there's loads of customers and cars going by, so just bear that in mind. Jim Mill, thanks for having me today. Appreciate it. Aloha is your brand. I mean, you've done an amazing job with branding and marketing and all of that. Feel free to tell us a little bit more about what Aloha is. So Aloha incepted around about a year and a half ago. We started with a small poker joint in a dark kitchen, and just after the pandemic ended, we thought it's now a um, good time to get into a brick and mortar site. So we start designing, start um, talking to the designers and all the decorators and the builders to give us an idea of giving a very tropical Hawaiian look to make this cohesion between our food and the brand. Exactly. And our store, of course. Yeah. Uh, and here it is now. So we started operating this site in Kensal Rice in uh, August last year, 2021 and we are now almost in our ninth month of trading and it's uh, going really great. I think it's amazing because when I think of poke bowls, I do think of that sort of tropical vibe and you guys have really been able to bring that to this space. Just make it really fun, bright, alive, really kind of healthy and fresh. And then obviously you then decided and you contacted me that you wanted to add bubble tea to your menu. Now, how did that come about? I always wanted to do bubble tea because in this area there is a huge demographic who actually will benefit from adding bubble tea and there isn't a you know bubble tea store uh, close by. So um, I wanted to start uh, introducing bubble tea. It was quite a challenging task at first because when you go to the bubble tea store you look at all the different in in ingredients, it does sort of overwhelms you <laughs> uh, and then I contacted you and you made it quite easy awesome and uh, made it very simple and then from then we started you know discussing how we're going to incorporate the bubble tea into our existing menu and uh, benefit from the ingredients which we already carry we were a little bit short of space but then again discussion with you uh, we came up with a plan and added that and I think um, it was a good a good call good yeah I do recall actually um, that was one of your concerns was that you didn't have a lot of space no we had Hardly, hardly any space. Yeah, but we definitely made it work. Yes, we did, because what we did is just use the existing space uh, with minimizing buying unnecessary equipment. And if I had not contacted you, I would have actually done that. <laughs> yeah. Because I would have looked at the store and start, you know, going crazy, buying all the unnecessary stuff, mm -hmm. which would have cost me a lot more. With your discussion with you, we came up with an idea of what can we do to use what I already have. And I think, in all honesty, I only had to buy a handful of uh, new equipment. Yeah. So we use our existing fridge, existing blender, existing rice cooker, and so on and so forth. And you, you know, guided us all the way. So yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, no worries, of course. I do, I do recall you were like, oh, fructose machine and this machine and that machine. I was like, whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Let's figure out what your menu is going to be first. What kind of drinks you want to serve, and then let's work our way backwards and figure out what equipment you need. <laughs> we wanted Aloha to be a very health conscious and healthy brand, and um, you know, looking at bubble tea, predominantly it has you know fructose, sugar popping balls and, and, and you know a lot of syrup so I think my discussion with you was that how, how do I make it healthy and I think we came up with a very good menu not very traditional bubble tea menu but it's a healthy alternative where people can actually enjoy a nice bubble tea we have uh, some amazing blends our lemon and mint tea is very popular and it's got all the fresh ingredient um, hardly any sugar in it. It's going really well. So. And then the one that I tried today, which was the 24 karat yeah, so lemonade you had a proper Aloha treat drink. Yeah. That was really, really good. I really liked that. And that used fresh lemon um, yes. and actual gold leaf. Yeah, not only that, but we use vegan honey in it. It's uh, suitable for vegan. It's called lemon honey. Very simple, basic ingredients. Mm -hmm. And it's got the best jasmine tea you can buy. Yeah. 
So you know the base of the best ja jasmine tea and then we top it up with the pure 24 karat gold on, on top. It looks amazing mm -hmm. uh, and tastes amazing. Yeah. Exactly. How did it taste for you? I really liked it. It was nice. It was perfect for me actually. The, the way that you made it. So I liked that, that was really good. What are the percentages, what do they end up being for your shop now that you've added bubble tea onto your pre-existing shop menu? What is the percentage of sales? How does that kind of work? I think I'm gonna make it a little bit long-winded for you if you don't mind. Okay, sure. So predominantly we started with, uh, with, with poke and smoothies and fresh juices. So we used to get our customers coming in to dine with us from 11 and then till two. And then we would have a quiet period till about six o'clock where some people would come in and dine and a lot more would use our takeaway service. As soon as we started bubble tea, that changed completely. We have a lot of customers coming in now just being curious with all this bubble tea since we've got two, three schools around us and a lot of people uh, are walking by. They come in, they buy bubble tea and then they realize, oh, we do so much more. So bubble tea has actually benefited us a lot in terms of bringing a lot of new customers. I would say that our sales have increased 50%. I know it might be a bit shocking, but I'm not exaggerating at all. Okay. I mean, we have seen a significant change and we have a lot of bodies in our restaurants and a lot of presence, which actually attracts a lot of attention mm -hmm. because we have, you know, a lot of mums uh, coming in, a lot of kids coming in, have bubble tea, have chat with us, and then we can, you know, introduce them to our fruit juices, our poke bowls, amazing sides. I would say it has benefited me immensely. So that period between two to six now has become the busiest period for us. Wow. So that, you know, wind down period has actually completely disappeared. It's actually the busiest period. So now my busy period is actually from two to four. Okay. As you have witnessed it today. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. I definitely did. That one lady who came in with the little girl, she got a drink, she got the little girl a drink, and then they went and picked up the brother from school, yeah. came back, got two more drinks. Yeah. So I can definitely see where that um, is a great opportunity when people are going to and from school. After school, they just want to have a drink and relax. Um, I noticed everyone was taking pictures with this Instagram-worthy yeah. area here. Yeah, they, they, they love the swing, kids love it. And you know, we don't mind kids coming in. We actually love it when the place is so lively, kids are running about, you know, using a swing. We have a lot of nannies actually, I think she was a nanny. A lot of nannies, they come in, they buy a drink for themselves, spend some time here while the other child is actually in secondary school or maybe a higher school, and then they go pick that other child and come back to us. Okay. And then okay. it gives us an opportunity to have a chat with them, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think she was talking to you for quite a, yes, quite a long time. Yes, I had time. a chat with her. She's yeah. a huge bubble tea fan, so that's good, because I was like, she's a big bubble tea fan. She's grown up with bubble tea her whole life, so now she comes to your shop and she has her people that she's working with getting your bubble tea. So that means it's good, so that means you're onto something. <laughs> yes, I mean, I think you witnessed there were about uh, five or six nannies today in, in the store. Yes. You know, with uh, having bubble tea and then you know, treating uh, the, the young ones as well. It's going really great. And how did that come about then? So you, you had your poke, then you decided to bring on the bubble tea. Now, how did you start letting people know about it? Were you giving out free samples? Was it purely social media? Was it purely walk by? How did that kind of I, I think out? it's a mixture of everything. We, we actually started with a regular customer. We already gave them a taster mm -hmm. that we be thinking about doing bubble tea. What do you think? So actually we got a lot of feedback from our existing customers who said, you know, it'd be a great idea because there isn't one on a high street okay. and, you know, we can really benefit from it. Cancel Rise is actually a very strong community and they have a very, very good network. So I think the word goes out very quickly. Mm. And th this is exactly what happened. So we actually anticipated already that we're going to launch at some point. And then we did a soft launch and then we went with the branding. We added, you know, the, the signboard, the graphics and everything. And then we pushed it with our social media and our online presence with, you know, the delivery apps as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a mixture of everything. I believe in old fashioned word of mouth marketing. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing better than, you know, when you put that passion into your words, I think that has a very lasting impression, mm -hmm. a lot more stronger than any other platform, I would say. So I think we did that. And then I think the word, word is still going out because mm -hmm. I don't think we have reached our potential yet. Adding bubble tea to our menu has actually benefited us across the board. Mm -hmm. You know, our sales have increased more than 50%. You asked me earlier on why did I add bubble tea to my existing and not just bubble tea store. Mm -hmm. The cost would have been quite high. I think if you're doing the bubble tea only, you're alienating the rest of, you know, the customer who would buy food as well. Mm -hmm. So I think the combination of having bubble tea as your drink, it's quite beneficial. Your unique thing about your shop is your poke bowls. And they are strong. I mean, it's not just like you're throwing some stuff together. I mean, you're using top ingredients, really, really healthy stuff. All of your stuff is like certified and it comes from reputable sources. You take a lot of pride in your poke. Of course. So the bubble tea is, it, it is standing just as strong, 
but it's still your poke that's shining through. Okay. Like that is your bread and butter. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, poke is our bread and butter. Poke yes. is what we are, mm -hmm. and everything else is actually uh, to complement poke. Mm -hmm. And I think people have actually warmed up to the idea of having a poke with a bubble tea, mm. which is you know which, which is a unique thing, but it actually had worked. Bubble tea is a very versatile drink anyway. You know, you can make it as healthy as possible, or you can go all out and add as much popping balls and jellies and, you know, treat yourself. It adds to that because the poke bowl has actually had, has a lot of f a good flavor. It does, yeah. And I think the uh, bubble tea complements it very well. As you mentioned, we actually go out of our way sourcing the best ingredients for poke bowl because we will never compromise on quality and hygiene. I think, as you can see, we've got hygiene certificate right on the door. Yes. Very proudful to have, mm -hmm. you know, five-star rating. Mm -hmm and uh, we don't cook corners at all. We have the best sushi suppliers, we have the best veg and fruit supplier. Wherever it's possible, we use the UK local uh, produce just to help the community as well. We buy as much possible as locally sourced ingredients. You're sticking authentic with your poke bowls and you're also being authentic with your bubble tea as well. Of course, yeah. And the other thing that I enjoy about your menu that you decided upon right now for your bubble tea is, it's very simple. You've got your fruit teas and your variations of your fruit tea and you've got your milk tea and your variations of your milk tea. It's very simple, easy to understand. And then what it does is it allows for a good base uh, drink flavor. Then your customers can switch it up a bit when it comes to the toppings, because you offer a lot of different types of toppings, which is amazing. So it's almost like, I feel like you really hit the nail on the head with that one, because sometimes shops will try to give way too many drink options and not really enough toppings. So people become confused. But what you've done is you simplified your drinks menu, but you're allowing people to um, experiment with different types of variations for the toppings themselves. I think you're absolutely right. And I don't know if you remember our first conversation. I think I was quite all over the place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, because when you look at a traditional bubble tea store, so much going on in a very small space. Yeah. And I think what you said to me that don't complicate it, mm -hmm. just keep it simple. Our principle with poke is always to keep simple mm -hmm. ingredients but top quality ingredients, which brings a ta real taste out. And then it's up to customer if they want to be a bit more adventurous to add more mm -hmm. or just keep it simple. I think simple ingredients bring out the best taste and then you can build on that. So I think with, with bubble tea, that's what we, we've done. I think if I had left it to myself, I think my menu would have been <laughs> quite complicated. But thanks to you, you know, adding the fresh fruit, fresh mm -hmm. strawberries, fresh banana, mm -hmm. uh, fresh apples, yeah. uh, fresh mango, in all of our fruit tea and bubble tea in general, I think has helped us a lot in keeping that taste and that you know fresh vibe going on. Simple is the best. Do you recommend uh, other cafes and maybe restaurants or shops that already have a pre-existing menu to add bubble tea on? Now, of course, I would hope they wouldn't be within a, a radius of you, but just in general around the world. I, I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> they can open one right next to me. More okay. the merrier, more the merrier, as they say. I would highly uh, recommend it because I think any extra, uh, you know, revenue or footfall in your business is quite valuable. So I would say um, bubble tea would be quite a great thing to pull that customers in. Sell bubble tea as well as your existing menu. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. You know, you can do it quite cost effectively. Mm -hmm. I would actually take a little bit of liberty and say, don't worry about going through a big franchise names mm -hmm. and try to, you know, go for that big brand because it's quite simple. Add that bubble tea menu in your existing brand. Mm -hmm use existing ingredients you have in your kitchen uh, because the space is very important. And um, I think the rest uh, is quite simple, you know. So I, I would highly recommend adding bubble tea to your existing menu, yeah. uh, especially if you have a cafe. It's not very costly to set it up. It's not very difficult to execute. Uh, with your help, <laughs> it's simple. Yeah, that's yeah. great, thank you. You're welcome. Well, I definitely agree with you and I can see it visually in my mind and I'll try to kind of express like with what you were saying. There's, there's two ways to add bubble tea. One is like as a clunky counterpart, which doesn't really fit. It's kind of there on the menu and it doesn't really make sense why they're serving bubble tea. So I think in that sense, maybe it's not the best idea. But I think if it can complement the pre-existing menu and the product and the style, even just the brand or, or the feel or the vibe of the place, if you can find a way to really integrate it in like through marriage of of you know, bubble tea and the product walking down the aisle and, and being happy together, then I think the customer will appreciate that and, and respect that. And they'll purchase it because they feel like, yes, 
I want a bubble tea with this other item. So yeah, in that sense, I, I definitely think I agree with you on that one. Absolutely. Oh, you know, it, it will be, you know, you, your, your main food, whatever you're selling, it will always be your focus. Mm -hmm. Bubble tea is just adding extra and you don't need to go all crazy with having 50 drinks on your menu. You know, you can have simple five to 10 drinks uh, menu, which is dead easy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm saying that now because you made it easy for <laughs> me. Maybe five milk teas, five fruit teas. And once you get to know the basics, then you can build on that. Mm -hmm. Yes, know. exactly. Um, and you can then have as many, you know, sky is your limit. Mm -hmm. You know, you can play around and, you know, you can create your own ideas. You know, as you can see, we have created a couple of our, yeah. you know, special blends, which goes very well with Hawaiian. So we have a, a tea with, which has mango, pineapple, very typical of Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And then we top it with a little bit of lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And then we, you know, give it a quick shake. And it's, you know, goes with uh, jasmine tea and it, it, it blends in so well. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you cannot tell that you're having a non-Hawaiian drink. It's actually a proper Hawaiian cocktail. But it just comes in the shape of a bubble tea. Are there any last thoughts or anything that you wanted to share with everybody uh, before we wrap up? I mean, I would say just, uh, you know, if, if, if you have it in back of your mind that you're going to give bubble tea a go, don't be frightened, just go for it. And it will be definitely beneficial. Well, thank, thank you, you very much, Jamil. No problem. I appreciate you meeting with me today. I'm Anytime. glad I could come out to your shop and it was so exciting to finally see everything and how it's all working and everything's going together. So thank really you, nicely. thank you really. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming out. And thank you for joining in. I hope you got a lot of value out of today's video and I'll see you again soon. Aloha. Aloha.